together. Live and in person for only the second time ever. Bloop, he's real. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's true still, but we're here at the NAI board meeting uh, with a whole ton of volunteer leaders from all over the country. And so on, what is this special episode of S&P all about? Well, this episode, we are just gonna go around and get to know our board members and advisory council. Um, we're going to use a similar method that we're going to use at the in-person conference in Palm Springs where we'll have bowls, bowls of ice, not ice cream, Oh, icebreaker questions. They're gonna be, some of them will be silly, some of them, I don't know. We might do a whole episode on verses, but mm. We're gonna go ask some questions and uh, give quick intros to our board members and advisory council. I feel like these questions could have been in a great big uh, uh, helmet Sunday bowl. I think he has a project. <laughs> <laughs> so Paul, we're gonna need giant helmet Sundays for our ice breaker. Uh, I like this. We're gonna it's going to, we're gonna call it an ice cream breaker. Anyway, we're about to go talk to some board members, some members of the advisory council, your volunteer NAI leaders who are here to make all sorts of important decisions about the organization and the profession. We are going to ask them ridiculous questions that have nothing to do with the work that they're doing here in this building. We're, we're getting to know our volunteer leaders. Uh, AJ, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm AJ Klevnik. I live in Fort Collins, Colorado, and I'm on the advisory council for NAI as the elections chair and also the director of the Four Corners region. Okay. And Super as, fun. As we get to know you, here's your question. Oh no, okay. What is the farthest north you have ever traveled? The farthest north? I think the farthest north I've ever traveled is a little north of Fairbanks, Alaska to the northernmost truck stop for pie. The northernmost truck stop for pie. I like that very much. Yes. All right. So, Thanks, AJ. You're welcome. Jay Schneider folks. I just met him yesterday and he's now one of my favorite persons. <laughs> he's a pretty funny guy, but he's also wicked smart and he does not have a degree in English. I do not. Uh, my name is Jay Schneider. I'm the Region 6 Director. I'm also the Chair on the Advisory Council serving on your National Board. Woo! All right, Jay. Do you say Sherbet or Sherbert? <laughs> I'm going to go with Sherbert because I probably say it wrong. <laughs> Jay Schneider. Okay. So, Amy, uh, yeah. would you like to introduce yourself first, please? Yes, I'm Amy Rowe. I am an advisory council rep on the national board, and that is because I was the director for Nature Center Directors and Administrators section of community. Uh -huh. uh, and, uh, still so, section. Still section, <laughs> section, and I've been um, from Cincinnati, Ohio, and hit me with your question. All right, here's your question. We're getting to know our NAI board. I just ripped this one in half. <laughs> what is one of your pet peeves? Being late, oh. being late is a huge pet peeve for me. That's I, a great and one. I'm always like five, ten minutes early for everything, right. which could be a pet peeve on the other side. Of <laughs> Amy Rowell, always early. All right, <laughs> bye. Well, with me now is Jay Miller. Jay, why don't you introduce yourself to the folks who don't know you? Hey guys, I'm president of the National Board, and I'm glad to be here on Fort Collins today for our board meeting. Yes, all right, question for Jay. What is on your current playlist? Playlist. That wouldn't be baseball. That wouldn't well, be football. I, that would be like music. I guess it could be baseball or football. <laughs> well, as, as I'm traveling, it's got to be the Eagles. Listen to the Eagles. Listen to the Eagles. Go Glenn Fry. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Parker. Okay, we're getting, getting to know our NAI Board of Directors. You've been on the board a long time. I have. This You've is done my great sixth work here. year. Holy smokes. <laughs> well, would you like to introduce yourself for anyone who could possibly not know you at this point? Sure. Hi, my name is Parker McMullen Bushman. I am the Vice President for Programs on the board, um, and I am the Chief Operating Officer for Inclusive Journeys. Okay, and then the question for you is, what is the last place that you visited? The last place that I visited um, was Colorado Springs. Yeah, where I went to Great Wolf Lodge with the family. Awesome, <laughs> thank you, Parker. Thanks for everything you've done uh, over six years with NAI. All right, thank you, Paul. So with me is Mike. This is so fun getting to know a lot of the board <clears throat> members. I've emailed them a lot, uh, but face-to-face. -face. So 
Mike, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Thank you, Song. I'm Mike Lesperance. Uh, I am an interpretive planner. Um, I am a principal of the Design Minds, and I'm a new member on the board. I am a uh, committed um, advocate for DEAI uh, issues, and am very excited with all the board is doing, especially around those topics. Yeah, all right, Mike, we're getting to know you via my awesome bowl of questions. So, do you want to pick one, or do you want me to pick one? You pick one, so I'm not accused of uh, mm. doctoring it. Okay. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh, uh, my favorite flavor of ice cream is mint chocolate chip. Um, I, uh, you know what? It's my mom's favorite flavor of ice cream. Maybe that influences me on a subliminal level, but I actually really like the minty freshness combined with the chocolatey goodness of the sweet chips. Does it weird you out when you eat mint chocolate chip ice cream that is not green? No, I'm okay with that. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Serena Gill, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Serena. You're awesome. And I'm on the board of directors. <laughs> That's perfect. We're getting to know our board members. And since you're on the board of directors, my question for you from the great bowl of questions, what is your favorite vacation spot? I have to pick one. Um, your favorite vacation spot. My favorite spot. vacation spot. Usually anywhere with a beach I can swim in. And since I have an upcoming trip to Hawaii, I'll pick Hawaii. Oh, so good. Awesome. Thanks, Serena. Thank you. With me next is Tom Mullen. Tom, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Sure. So I'm Tom Mullen. I'm Vice President for Administration of uh, the Association. <coughs> and I'm the Executive Director at the Herring Gut Learning Center in Fort Clyde, Maine. Awesome. Let's pick, let's pick a question for Tom. Oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> when was the last time you took public transportation? Wow. Where are you going? Well, I going? actually did fly to this meeting. <laughs> but before that, oh my goodness, January of 2020. Oh. So. Yeah. And what was it? I, I took a vacation and uh, we, my wife and I went out to uh, Tucson and uh, toured around the national parks in Arizona. So. Awesome. Thanks, Tom. All right, thanks. We're continuing to get to know our board members with the great bowl of questions. Mary, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Sure. My name is Mary Lone, and I'm the board member at large, and I work for the Bureau of Land Management. Okay. And Mary, what was your first job? Um, uh, my first real paying job was other than babysitting, but I was uh, a food deliverer at a hospital. Fantastic. That's yeah. great work. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Mary. Yeah. Well, we are on uh, day two, day one, I don't even know, of this amazing board meeting. And joining us also is our advisory council. And I've got here with me uh, Yvonne. So Yvonne, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Yvonne Johnson. I'm the director of uh, the Chesapeake region, region two. I've been an NAI member for decades, and it's a great place, and we're having a good time here at the board meeting. Awesome. Okay, and I've got a question for you here. What is your zodiac sign? I am a Capricorn. Is what? My zodiac. Me too! Yeah. Woo! February 4th, my dad missed the cutoff on taxes by four days. <laughs> if I had just been, been a little, born a little sooner. So I am, I am a winter baby and nobody wants to have any party on January 4th. <laughs> they are so partied out and spent all their money on Christmas. So. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks, Yvonne. Thank you. Terry, would you please introduce yourself for the, for the viewers of S&P? Oh, sure, Paul. Thanks. Thanks for asking me to be a part of S&P. So this far, is so exciting. This is the most sarcastic response that we've gotten <laughs> for this yet. No, no. I'm actually happy that you did invite me. Um, I'm Terry Joyce. I am your NAI National Secretary, and I'm here uh, this week with all of the great uh, NEI, um, you know, friends of mine here and, and your, uh, your board, so that way we can work to make NEI a uh, really awesome organization. And you've held so many positions with NAI over the years, and uh, it would take us forever to list all of them. But I do have a completely random question okay. for you. And uh, wow, look at this one. Uh, the question here is, what's up with the, the new name of the team in Cleveland? <laughs> okay, so uh, I think I know what he's referring to. This guy over here, um, I think you like baseball. I have been I've known heard. to go to a baseball game. 
rumors. So um, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I am a Cleveland sports fan. And uh, as of this year, they've been working on it for a few years, but the Cleveland Indians baseball organization has announced a new name and they're going by Cleveland Guardians now. Uh, well, they will be in, in next season. Um, I, the name is really kind of interesting. It's a local connection actually. So there is a bridge right next to where the stadium is. And that bridge has large Art Deco sculptures that are called the Guardians of Transportation. And so uh, that is a part of the connection with the name. There are some other reasons that the Indians organization went with that name. And I'm sure you could go to their website and find out more about it. But the Guardians of Transportation, it's really cool sculptures. So random that out of, so out of all the questions in here, yeah. you got that one. I know. It's a good thing that you pulled that for me. That is per Well, it just yeah. was random. It Thank went, you, Terry. Yo, you're welcome. Okay, so I found another advisory council member here. Uh, this is Deb. Good Deb. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Deb, what do you do on our advisory council? You are? I am the director for Great Lakes Region 4, and I am also the program chair on the advisory council. Yeah, awesome. It's so nice to actually meet you in person. And I know. To be here. Ah! I know. Okay, one question for Deb. Okay. What sports do you play? What sports do I play now or have I played? Because that's two totally different answers. Let's do both. Give me both. Um, well, I've, I've gotten into walking and yoga. Does that count as a sport? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I used to do softball and basketball and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I've slowed down a little bit. <laughs> awesome. That was so good to see you. What do you do? Thank you. <laughs> So I'm on Zoom with Kelly English. Kelly, you were here for the board meeting, but you were so engrossed in so many conversations during our breaks when we were doing these interviews that we have to actually catch you on your way out of town, en route. Uh, you're in the San Francisco airport right now. But if you would, please introduce yourself for uh, NAI or for our SNP viewers. Sure. I'm Kelly English. I work for the National Park Service um, here in the East Bay. Um, in just outside of Oakland with a variety of uh, park sites that we have here in the East Bay. Fantastic. Thank you very much. And I'm here in my office and, and I'm not wearing a tie right now because it's the board meeting is <laughs> officially over. Um, okay. The question that I have for you, Kelly, is what is the best book you've ever read? Oh my gosh. That's not an easy question, <laughs> but honestly, I think my go-to answer always is The Fire Next Time by James Baldwin. Um, it was written, gosh, probably 60 or more years ago at this point, but it's still so incredibly relevant as much today as it was then. Um, it's amazing to recognize that as a society, we've made so many incredible um, advances and so much progress since those days, but in other ways, we still face some of the same challenges that are recycled in different new forms. And so I find that book to be especially poignant and salient um, these days, just as much as I did when I first read it in high school. And it's got to be one of my favorite books of all time. Awesome. Kelly, thank you so much for calling in from the San Francisco airport. We really appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. Take care. All right, you too. Safe travels. Well, that was really fun. Uh, song, after getting to know all of our board members, who is your favorite board member? Uh, I can't say that uh, on camera. All right, we're not allowed to answer Also, that that's not fair because we had several board members and advisory council members who were not able to be here in person. Um, and they, I don't know if they lucked out or if they should feel bad. No, they should feel bad. There were five board members who had to zoom in and so they continued this pixelated existence that we've all been living. Uh, but we got to talk to 11 board members and uh, three or four advisory council members. Yeah, so we got to talk to a lot of people. We did miss all of the, the, the board members who could not be here. Right, and that just shows you the dedication that you have for your volunteer board and uh, council members because they that's how much they care, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So anyway, thank you for joining us on our episode of SNP here live. Live <laughs> and in person. How about SNP fist bump? Hello. All right. <laughs> See you next time. We should sing the theme song. <laughs> 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 <laughs>